And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Akasaurus, which was a request from Cole via Patreon, so thanks, Cole. Akasaurus was a medium-sized carnivorous theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Argentina. It was found in a joint expedition in 1999 with the Museo Municipal Carmen Funes and the Natural History Museum of L.A. It was named in 2002 by Coria, Chiapi, and Dingus. The type of species is Akasaurus garidoe. It was found in Acamahuevo, a Patagonian site where many sauropod eggs and embryos have been found. And the name Aka comes from the Mapuche language and refers to where it was found. The species name, Garadoi, is in honor of Alberto Garrido, who found the holotype. It's the most complete abelosaur that has been described so far. Only the end of the tail is missing. Wow, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. And because the specimen that was found is so complete, it helped clarify the postcranial anatomy of Carnotaurus and other abelosaurs. Yeah, it's super rare to find so much of a dinosaur like that. Yeah, and it, then it helps out so much. Yeah, can you fill in so many gaps? Mm-hmm. So it was related to Carnotaurus, but smaller. It was about 20 feet or 6.1 meters long, and it had low ridges above its eyes, not horns like Carnotaurus. It had small arms and only two fingers, the second and third digits, but they were short and they didn't have claws. It had a short, deep-snouted skull. The skull that was found is damaged, so that may be due to a fight before its death. And the skull damage probably came from another dinosaur. And the damage is limited to just the skull, so it probably was attacked. Brutal way to die. Yeah. The attack could have been by fighting a large herbivore, or fighting over food or territory, or even attempted cannibalism, like the Abelosaurid Majungasaurus may have done. It probably died from its skull injury, not surprising. Where the fossils were found used to be a lake, so Akasaurus either was injured in the lake or walked to the lake with its injury and then sank to the bottom. Either way, because of that, terrestrial predators couldn't get to it, which is why it's so well preserved. So I guess in the end, it all works out for us anyway. (laughs) Not so much for that dinosaur. No. Hopefully it was a quick death. Doesn't sound like it, but hopefully. We have no way of knowing. It's true. Anyway, you can see Akasaurus in Dinosaur Planet, which is a 2003 documentary series where a saltosaurus fell on top of it and crushed its skull. I guess that's one way of portraying that. Yeah. (laughs) You can also see Akasaurus art on DeviantArt created by Jessica Noop, who created an Akasaurus mother as part of a concept for Global Dinosaur Monument, a park on a small peninsula on the Australian coast. And we'll post a link so you can look at the pictures. They're pretty cool. 